A new chatbot has created ripples in the industry. This unique chatbot, also known as ChatGPT, is helping students in completing their projects, solving math problems, even summarizing the write-ups and, of course, rehashing and reproducing the articles which are available on the internet. Why this is in the market, why it has created a buzz, why Satya Nadella is saying that it is a game changer. I have been joined by techie and author Shakti Singh Tawar. Shakti, what is this all about? Can you show us how this bot actually works and its pros and cons? Yeah, definitely. So, as you already know, Chat GPT is an AI based machine learning model that is built on a generative uh, pre trained transformer. And uh, Microsoft has big plans of using it in their search engine as well, which is popularly known as Bing. So they have they are they are planning to use it as a as a backend in Bing. Mm -hmm. um, with machine learning models, uh, they are pre-trained with 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 the with plethora of information that has been gathered throughout the world throughout the web from various sources like Google, Wikipedia, and and stuff. Thus, uh, making it a controlled search mm -hmm. compared to the normal searches that that kids used to make on mm -hmm. internet. Where they can search anything, the content can be can be vulgarity, it can be uh, sexual, which which is which is not intended for them. As a, as a parent, I won't advise my my parent, my kids to uh, search those type. Of that include includes uh, pictures and uh, videos also. Yes. yes. So the best part about using uh, this uh, Chat GPT as a search engine is it doesn't show you any images, it it doesn't show any videos, it will only show you content based on. Uh, like uh, what how you are searching it mm -hmm. so it if you are searching it based on a as, as a five-year-old kid it will show you uh, customized content for a five-year-old kid mm -hmm. if you're searching uh, as a as an adult you you enter give me results for as an adult it will uh, have different wordings different content so that's where it has gained popularity over other search search engines and um, I mean, it previously also Microsoft has has uh, has created a search in, has created bots like uh, this. Hmm. One of the popular one was Microsoft Tay, hmm. and uh, the reason for the failure was it it shows vulgarity, it shows uh, racist content. There is no filter in that. There is no hmm. filter in it. Hmm. But here everything hmm. has been since it's a pre-trained model, so it hmm. can only show information that has been fed into it. Hmm. And that is where it is much. Uh, so, can you show us a small demo how it actually works? So, can you start from zero, just start from scratch? How? Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, uh, the, the link, the website link is chat.openai.com slash chat. Hmm. So, this is the link. If hmm. you if you if you go here first time, I am already logged into hmm. it. Hmm. So, I will just uh, click on new chat. Hmm. Uh, this is how the screen shows uh, when you go when you visit this for the first time and there mm. are a lot of examples if you are a new mm. um, new one so for example if i have to create article uh, mm. for my 5 year old kid on mm. my best friend mm. so i'll just say uh, write an essay on my best friend for fifth grader mm. and the moment i hit enter mm. it starts writing something and if you just look at the content, and if you see the, it is it is leaving placeholders as well. Mm -hmm. Their name is dash, one thing that makes dash. So mm -hmm. these are the placeholders that that you have to fill in. Mm -hmm. And this this language is for fifth grader only. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it can be understood by any fifth grader. Mm -hmm. Same content if I write if I like uh, write an essay on my best friend for um, graduate, mm -hmm. it will show different content. So it's customized content based on the keywords. Hmm. that you're searching hmm. so that's where it, it is making it different from other search engines that's that's just one of the things hmm. um, this is for kids but uh, for hmm. adults i mean i can even write programs hmm. so i can just write uh, write a program to find some of n natural numbers in c sharp this hmm. is a programming language hmm. of course so let's see what it comes up with so there are a certain limitation to it as well hmm. uh, it may not always uh, return uh, you the responses every time for hmm. example right now as you can see that it is stuck hmm. so i will try again i'll just say write a program to write some of n natural numbers hmm. now once it is stuck it will it will just take some time but hmm. now it has taken some time but hmm. now it is writing a program as you can see that so this is writing a program to find out the sum of n natural number hmm. Uh, there is some network error, hmm. so, but I can try again. Hmm. So, 
इसलिए ऐसा मेरर मैं रिफ्रेश और एडिट करना पड़ेगा तो आई आई ट्राई अगेन सो इट हैज इट इज राइटिंग अ प्रोग्राम इन पाइथन ओके ओके एज यू कैन सी इट इज राइटिंग कोड फॉर अस प्लस ऑल द टेस्ट केसेस Hmm. So, for example, it if you uh, call it by this, it prints this. Hmm. So, very good tool, as you can see, it is writing programs for us even hmm. on the fly. Hmm. We just gave it our requirement, and it is uh, printing the programs. One hmm. of the limitation is it won't be covering the edge case scenarios hmm. that are usually uh, we we do as hmm. a programmer. So hmm. that is a limitation. But otherwise, if it's a common uh, programming practice, you hmm. can easily take help. Hmm. It can give you the entire uh, logic as well as code. Hmm. with the with the complete explanation hmm. that is where it is it is gaining popularity hmm. as, a, as a chatbot hmm. so as a chatbot it, it is actually helping uh, the education industry from you know class 5th uh, or maybe class 4th from uh, uh, this uh, coding so exactly. coding has become a very uh, popular uh, education uh, system and now uh, the system is in you know 8th class people and it the students are also coding uh, into this so how it's actually working in you know what are the problems which is going to be there do you think that coding is a thing which students uh, should learn you know by their own creativity and not by a bot who is actually you know printing all the things for them you just type one question press enter and you get all the stuff without even understanding the nitty gritty is without even practically understanding that if you uh, you know miss one underscore then what will happen to the uh, coding yeah definitely i mean you cannot replace a teacher to be very honest and with great response with great powers comes great responsibility so the power is provided by chatbot but hmm. the responsibility is lies with parent hmm. so they they have to they have to make sure that their child their their kids are not just copying the content rather they are just using it as a tool hmm. to get as much information as 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 they require hmm. to to learn and grasp a concept better hmm. so that the responsibility a uh, lot of the responsibility lies with parent hmm. so how much it is being actually used see i am uh, watching for the very first time that a bot is actually coding very neatly and giving all the data you know all the things in front of your eyes so how much it is being used and why this is different from all the other chatbots which you mentioned earlier yeah so every chatbot has a has a limitation and with every machine learning model they takes time to mature hmm. so it is i mean it is still in early early stages though hmm. it is very mature hmm. but uh, with machine learning model they they are they are more like uh, they uh, learn with time hmm. and this this called reinforced learning hmm. so with reinforced learning once the bot has been created hmm. we fed it with more information like this hmm. can you do it like this hmm. or can you have uh, these scenarios hmm. so and then the bot learns itself and the next time you ask the same question it will hmm. be giving more mature answers to you hmm. so that's where uh, it it is going to grow hmm. it is going to take time and it is still in very very early stages hmm. i have used it uh, hmm. personally and uh, i have seen it it gets stuck sometimes hmm. on very complex problem it hmm. gets stuck hmm. but for common scenarios i mean it's hmm. it's a game changer yes or oh, maybe that is what artificial intelligence it is you know it 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 improves with time and it learns with in the questions we ask so uh, is it good for students especially especially young students is it is it good definitely i mean if mm. you are using it um, uh, as a as a as a tutor as mm. a helper mm. it is definitely good if you are mm. using it just for copying content without learning anything then mm. definitely it's a disaster hmm so using it precisely okay. using it you know in the right direction is what it's it's very important to handle such things inside the household to have a control on such things so that the creativity of the students creativity of those who actually go uh, in learning coding or maybe just writing an essay for a fifth grader shall not be a copy paste system uh, as this chatbot is offering with camera person ajay thakur in noida this is abhishek anand reporting for india today